Good morning, friends. Did you just hear my elbows? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new food video. We are doing a what I eat in a day video. It's been a while, but your girl is losing weight again. All right, friends, so I wanna do a quick little rewind for those who are new to my channel. My name is Jordan and I lost 130 pounds in 2016. I have maintained my weight loss since then, but I do typically gain 10 to 15 pounds every winter and then lose it again in the spring. I'm a recovered binge eater who struggled a lot with toxic weight loss habits in the past. Because of this, I am now a huge advocate for sustainability and balance when it comes to dieting. I started my day with a coffee from Tim Hortons like I do every morning. Now I'm just trying to, you know, drink my water. As I do every morning. <gasps> Oh my gosh, they're vacuuming in the hallway. You can hear absolutely everything in the hallway in the units in this building. So now I'm really nervous to talk because I know she can hear me talking to myself. All right, guys. So, excuse me. Before we jump into the first meal of the day, I want to introduce and thank today's sponsor, Parade. I am so, so, so excited to be working with Parade today. I have been a customer of Parade for years. There are so many things that I love about Parade. For one, their underwear is probably the most comfortable underwear I've ever put on my body. It is silky smooth. It is like soft to the touch. They are affordable, sustainable, inclusive. They are a female owned brand. Not only that, but they also offer support plus bra sizes for people like me who struggle to find bralettes that actually fit and support my larger boobs. One of the things I ordered is the perfect lace triangle bralette and I love it. It's my new absolute favorite because it's wider waistband, plunge neckline and stretchy yet supportive fabric. So this is it. I put a little bit of toilet paper underneath so you guys didn't have to see my nipples, but it's a long line bra. It is so freaking comfortable. I'm so excited about it because I have a lot of low neckline things that I'm gonna wear in summer. I'm also wearing the boy shorts. I have been obsessed with these. I have been living in these, but if boy shorts aren't your thing, they have a ton of other styles as well. This is their high-waisted thong. All of the underwear I ordered comes with this mesh material, which is so breathable, stretchy. Oh my gosh, so comfortable. They also have these cheeky ones with the same mesh on the back, so stretchy. I wish you guys could feel it through the screen because I just wanna rub it all over my face. I won't because I'm wearing makeup, but I'll pretend. And then here are the boy shorts, not on me. Oh my gosh, they're just so comfortable. If you are interested in trying out Parade for yourself, you can click the link in my description below and use code SHRINKS40 at checkout to save 40% off your entire order. Again, that's code SHRINKS40 at checkout. Thank you again to Parade for sponsoring this video. And now, on to the food. Guys, guys, you're not gonna believe this shit. <laughs> so I recorded my first meal without audio. I have some clips that I can put on the screen here, but I have to retell you what I had. Luckily, it wasn't much of anything, honestly. By the way, do you like I'm lounging? We're lounging. But at around 8 a.m. I had a protein shake. Honestly, I don't love protein shakes. I don't like the taste. I've never really liked protein anything, like protein bar, protein powder, protein pancakes, whatever. But I do make myself drink them because one, they're a really good source of protein for me because I struggle to get a lot of protein. And two, because I take Adderall in the morning and they really recommend that you like take Adderall with protein to make it like work better. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't eat a lot in the morning. I've never eaten a lot in the morning. I don't like filling my stomach with food when I first wake up because it makes me really tired and it makes it harder for me to be productive. Sorry about that. Sorry about the lost footage. <laughs> Guys, it's finally time for lunch. I'm excited. I'm hungry. We're excited. Are we excited for lunch? So it's almost noon. I'm about to make my lunch. Yes, I'm still in the nighty. I know, embarrassing. It's a work from home thing. If you know, you know. I'm not gonna get dressed unless I have to. This is where I'm most comfortable, my nighty. I'm using my favorite bowl ever. Look how cute this is. It's a little heart. It's from the dollar store best dollar store find ever. So for lunch today, I am really excited. I love these, I'm excited to show you. I'm gonna be having a split pea and lentil soup. This is the brand. I actually just recently rediscovered these. I was obsessed with them in 2020. I had them every single day for lunch. They're so freaking good. I usually split this jar into two servings. So this is two meals for me. I'll have one today, one tomorrow for lunch. And the meal comes to around 400 calories. Is this the worst angle of all time? Probably, but. No one comes here to this channel for videography, do they? Oh my God. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, this cannot look good on camera. Oh my God. What type of baby food ass meal is this? All right, so it's in the microwave and I just wanted to say, if you're someone who likes cooking, I commend you. I applaud you. Unfortunately, I am not one of those people. 
So that's why I put like easy and realistic in the titles of my videos because I know, I know that there are people like me who really cannot be bothered to cook. I've tried so many times. It's just something I'm never going to enjoy. I acknowledge this does not look good, okay? You're just gonna have to trust me. I swear it's good. So I'm in my eating spot. This is where I have to eat. I don't have a table in my apartment. It's this big. My apartment is this big. Baby spoon gang, if you know, you know. I only eat food with baby spoons and forks. I don't know why. It's my preferred utensil, the baby tiny ones. Sometimes when I eat soup like this, I also pair it with crackers. I really like those Mary's crackers. I'll put it on the screen because I unfortunately don't have any right now, which is why I'm not eating them right now. But yeah, friends, so this is lunch. I'm gonna eat it up and I'll see you for dinner. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, amazing news. The groceries have been freaking delivered. <sighs> I've never been happier in my life. So for the past week, I've been having salad for dinner and usually I'm not a salad person, but I just think I've been doing salad wrong because I am now addicted. I love it for a few reasons. One, it fills me up a lot. Two, it takes me like 25 minutes to eat and I usually eat my food within like 30 seconds and then I'm really sad. So by making a massive salad, I actually like slow down a little bit, which is good for my digestion. But yes, so I got some lettuce raw mushrooms which i know is a little bit controversial some people really hate raw mushrooms i got another one of these this is what i've been using it is the craft calorie wise zesty italian i really like this because it's like a really fresh flavor but it's also 15 calories per 30 milliliters i typically use like 60 milliliters so 30 calories for dressing incredible and then i got this frozen edamame i love edamame put some salt on this and it'll blow your mind edamame surprisingly is a really good protein source if you're like me and you don't eat meat for 120 calories you get nine grams of protein yum and then i got chickpeas i'm really excited to show you guys what i'm about to do with these chickpeas so good. The way I like to eat is I like to allocate the majority of my calories to my dinner. And since I didn't eat much earlier today, I have around a thousand calories, <gasps> a thousand calories to make this salad. So it's about to be huge. We're about to have beans, chickpeas, edamame. All right. So I just got some of the chickpeas in this little dish. I've decided I'm going to do majority black beans today because I don't know. I just want more black beans today. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a little bit of garlic powder smoked paprika and onion powder as well as just some like regular oil spray i would use the counter right now but just so you know my apartment is the size of a shoebox and my counter is full of other shit so we are improvising just a little bit just a little bit oh there we go i am a plain food baddie so i typically don't put a lot of spice on my stuff which i know is embarrassing a little bit of that. Whoop. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing with this now is I'm actually gonna be putting them in the air fryer. I just learned this hack slash tip from a member in my Facebook group, my weight loss wellness Facebook group. And basically, if you throw your chickpeas in the air fryer for like 15 minutes, they're gonna get really, really crispy. Deliciously crispy, kind of like a crouton. So this is what I use as croutons in my salad because they are more nutritionally dense. So I apologize if you can hear the air fryer, it's the chickpeas, but massive bowl i just cleaned this massive bowl this is gonna be our salad bowl so first i'm adding my lettuce which i know this is very lazy i know but i'm a lazy girl i live for lazy meals so just gonna add that then i've already weighed out my beans so i'm just gonna put these in there as well this is about probably like 150 calories of beans, handful of little baby tomatoes, handful of little baby mushrooms, got some cucumbers I just cut up. Oh my gosh, she is looking beautiful. She is looking nutritious. All right, my edamame. This thing is so heavy. This is several pounds of food, which is why I'm such a salad girly right now. You just get so much food for the amount of calories you get. Like, look at this. So I just took a second to roughly calculate the amount of calories in this. And we are only at like 600. So I'm gonna add more beans. I'm gonna wait to put this on until the end because something that sucks about like frying or like air frying your chickpeas is that once the dressing hits it, it softens them up a bit. So I like to put this on at the end and like, like as I'm eating, I'll put more in, I'll be like. I know that having an eight to a thousand calorie salad isn't for everyone. 
that is the binge eater in me. My stomach is permanently enlarged because I went 22 years overeating, okay? So if this is not for you, that is okay. I do still really recommend salad though. You can just eat so much volume for so few calories. It's really, really good for losing weight. Chickpeas are done. They smell so good. As you can see, they got really crispy. If you put more spice on it, they would have more texture. But as I said, I'm not like a huge spice person. Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. This is it, guys, in all her glory. Show us the beans. Where are all the freaking beans? I got 300 calories of freaking beans in this thing. And just like that, friends, we are back where we started on the couch in a different nightie with some water. Leo and I just got back from our walk. We were out for about an hour and we got six kilometers. So I'm really happy about that. I'm about to start winding down from the night. It is almost 8 p.m. over here. And one of my favorite things to do to end a nice long day is eat a sweet treat. So tonight I'm gonna be eating these little Oreo minis. I am a big fan of Oreo, anything chocolate. I'm someone who really benefits from the individually packaged snacks because as I've said many times, I have a history of binge eating, overeating, and I feel like when they're pre-packaged like this, it makes it a lot easier for me to exercise self-control. Although I must be honest and tell you that I will be having two. <laughs> when I was losing weight, I really struggled with the idea of eating certain foods. You know, I was afraid of anything with sugar, anything like this was completely off limits. And it took a long time for me to realize that you really can eat anything you want while losing weight as long as it's in moderation. They aren't lying when they say that. I lose weight all the time. Like I said at the beginning of this video, every year I am losing the same 10 to 15 pounds. And I can promise you that each time I do it, I am eating things like this. That wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.